We're here at the AB Gallery in Lucerne, Emmen Brücke, and I'm standing here with Bruno Müller-Meyer, an artist who has his exhibition from Lucerne to Mecca behind of us. And uh, this series comes out uh, of a lot of traveling from Bruno Müller-Meyer. Can you tell us about your love to the Orient and your traveling? Yes, um, especially in the last three years, I was intensively traveling. I was invited in Syria at the symposium with 50 painters from all Arabian and Near East uh, countries. And I traveled Jordania with my wife. Then I was twice in Oman. One month uh, I had an atelier, the studio there, in the spring of this year. So already when I was 22, I traveled in an old car through all the countries up to Kabul. And since then, uh, it was always somehow interesting me. In those days I was traveling around the world as a portraitist and since 15 years I mainly invest my energy into landscape painting. And this is... Uh, I try to put in a series certain spots of interest on the way from Lucerne to Mecca. So you started in Lucerne and then you stopped in Greece, you stopped in Turkey, you mm -hmm. stopped in Jerusalem and uh, at all of these places you, you, you're staying how long? A week? Or in, you're taking pictures and you're painting there? Yeah, it's a complex process, you know, to produce a landscape painting needs quite some time to first find out if it's, yeah, if you can do it, if you have a language for it. And, so I make a research first, mainly in Google Earth, with photos from many travelers before I go somewhere. And then I already have an idea where I want to go on spot. And so I mean, may make paintings there, mainly on paper, like aquarel and my own photos. And then it's a studio work, I, because it needs a long, lot of time. Uh, and also, it's sometimes very hot in these countries. You cannot paint outside so much. Right. You mentioned that you started or that you are working regularly as a portrait painter and this series here is just landscape, mm -hmm. which is probably uh, the Arabic world is maybe rather familiar with landscape painting than with portraits because living things are not allowed in the Islamic world. Is there a connection? It may be, but it's also because of the interest of landscape painting I have. I, I do it intensively from my studio on the Lake Lucerne in the Swiss Alps. And I was trying to find contrast in the landscapes there. Their colors are completely different than uh, anything. So it may be, but it's just also because it's a first approach. I tried to formulate the stage of living before coming close to the people. Um, I don't know, it can, be, it can go on, the process can go on, I hope. <laughs> and the pictures are a little bit, they, are, they gave the impression when you look at them from far behind, like, like snapshots. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Google, but is it that you take pictures and then you, you paint them? And there's even a motive um, from Mecca where mm -hmm. we are not allowed to go because we are not Muslims. So mm -hmm. is it like taking snapshots first and then painting them? Yeah, it's sampling, like in music business, from many impressions. You know, to, sometimes I have many photos and I distillate uh, a painting out of it. But uh, in this series, it's mainly from photos as a research to come close to the motive. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's not done on spot, it's in a, a studio work. And I manipulate them in, in the computer and try to filter out some poetic. Mm -hmm. You're very fond of traveling and I, mm -hmm. I feel that you're very fond of the Arabic world. So what are the next, next projects after this series here from Lucerne to Mecca? Yeah, I will go now uh, a third time to Oman because they have high mountains, they have so many diverse landscapes, desert, beaches, the wadis, and uh, I'm very attracted to this Fantastic. It's like a paradise for a landscape painter. I hope there will be a future exhibition in, in the country, in Muscat. We are working for, on it. So that makes the process 
may make the process go on and come deeper. Because this is just like a first approach where interesting motives can be found. And I have to go on all these spots again and, and do more intensive landscape painting on spot. Do you have idols? Like some pictures reminded me mm. um, at Kirchner because of the colors like mm -hmm. uh, violet and blue and green. So mm -hmm. are there any idols in, in, in your career? Well, of course, Kirchner is a, as an alpine painter. He lived in Davos in the Swiss Alps. I know him very well. He's very expressive. And in 20 years ago, my paintings were very close to his, but may, maybe some leftover. Uh, I know all this great international painters because uh, I studied art history and um, I'm admiring them, so Kirchner is a little bit, not so much in my mind right now, but maybe because the coloring, yeah, in Oman, he used in the Swiss Alps strong reds and ochre and yellow and green and you're right. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there is a connection, maybe, maybe not, yeah. but Bruno Müller-Meyer, thank you very much for this short interview and we mm -hmm. wish you Good luck for the future and thank for the you. Career. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.